What's up guys, welcome back to That's So Dev. So today, we will be reacting to Nicki Minaj, Last Time I Saw You. Absolutely, we've heard the snippets, okay? I've heard enough. I'm ready to hear this song, okay? It's so vulnerable. I think that's Nicki at her best. It's giving pop. It's also, I think, sonically giving a little alternative. So I'm just ready to see what this song is giving. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, here we go. I'm telling you, it's kind of giving alternative trans vibes. wish we bend it heartbreak that we never mended those messages we unsended best friends we somehow unfriended and care about who we offended damn it's just you know it's just one big reflection you know i want to go back because i want to hear a little bit of that again those messages we unsended best friends we somehow unfriended and care about who we offended parties they wish we attended got drunk and left and was splendid execution on the vocals just the way that this applies to so many different things the lyrics stopped i don't know what she's saying i'm i'm hearing starlight star bright and i'm hearing wish i may okay that's so cute hold on Oh, Nikki, yeah. That layering right there. Oh. Wow. Wow, this is such a beautiful song. Sonic. Oh. Ho, 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 hold up. Wow. Wow. First of all, I gotta say again, she sounds so amazing on this track, but I also love me a really good intricate beat. An intricate beat where I can come in with no expectations and I don't know where it's going to go. I really love that little switch up right there. And I thought that it was just something unexpected and it was fresh and it excited me again in the midst of this song that I'm already excited about so like well done it's the details this is an artist down the range come on mm -hmm. some deep vocals Onika Nikki Maybe I pushed you away because I thought that I knew you. Such a good song. It, it, it didn't feel long enough. I love a song where it leaves you wanting a little bit more. Again, I love Vulnerable Nikki. I love when she lets her guard down. I love when she sings. I think it really gives people a different perspective of who she is outside of being simply a rapper. You know, because people say all the time, even though we know that Nikki doesn't talk about cookie all the fucking time, but um, 
people love just saying that for no reason, even though she has songs like The Crying Game or Ethan I Lied or Come See About Me, Nip Tuck. I mean, these series, there are several songs out there where she is talking about some real shit and, you know, heartbreak and what she has been through. And those are some of my favorite songs. Add this to the list, Regret in Your Tears, you know? Like, I just feel like Nikki has such a range in... You never really know what to expect from her. I love what she did with her approach vocally. The execution just when it came to how sonically the song was shifting, she had certain styles of vocals that just perfectly fit, just like she would have the perfect flow for a rap. Honestly, I think this lady is a genius, but <laughs> I feel like we've heard so many sounds over the last year from Nikki. We have not heard this sound from her, generally. I have not heard this sound from a female rapper. Have I heard it from a rapper? I mean, me personally, I don't think I've heard it from a rapper, generally, but that's just me. If you have, let me know. I am very, very satisfied. I'm going to go listen to that again, y'all. That song was just so good, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go listen again. I have absolutely nothing else to say. All right, y'all, like I said, I'm out of here. I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. See you soon.